Hello, in this episode we will explore Planet J1407b. If you are enjoying our content, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click the bell to be notified about our future releases. You can also support us with YouTube Premium Membership, which will grant you benefits, such as viewing our videos early, loyalty badges, and access to supporter-only polls. We also have mobile games, available both on Play Store and App Store, which will be linked in description. Saturn is often considered one of the most beautiful planets in existence. Perhaps it has something to do with its subtle amber hues engulfing its surface, or perhaps it's those massive cloud rings that give it a sophisticated and elegant touch, that makes it stand out from the other planets in our solar system. It is hard to deny that Saturn is not only aesthetically pleasing, but truly a majestic planet. Before we move forward to see the planet J1407b, we will take a look at Saturn. The history of Saturn is rather unique and since it's a planet that we can see with a naked eye, it's virtually impossible to know who discovered it, as it has been in our skies, since the beginning of mankind. In 15th century, Galileo observed the skies with his telescope, and it gave him the ability to observe Saturn in greater details. In 1610 it appeared to him as a regular planet with two massive moons orbiting it. Later Galileo made a more precise telescope and was able to observe sort of arms or handles around Saturn. A few decades later, Italian astronomer and mathematician Giovanni Cassini suggested that perhaps the handles Galileo observed, were some sort of rings that orbited the planet. The mystery of what these rings were composed of lasted for centuries. Some people believe that these rings were a type of flat moons that surrounded the planet, others thought they were an exotic type of gas yet unknown to humans. In 1979 Mission Pioneer 11 passed by Saturn at a distance of 21,000 kilometers from Saturn's cloud tops, and it sent back data on the planet, its rings, and satellites including more than 400 images. We learned that these rings are not solid, but they could be even millions of smaller ringlets made of rocky and icy fragments that can be pieces of moons, asteroids, and comets. Today is known that Saturn's rings are enormous, but they are also extremely thin. The major ring's diameter is about 270,000 kilometers, and their thickness does not exceed 100 meters. Saturn's major rings lie within the Roche limit, which is the distance from a celestial body within which, a second celestial body held together only by its own force of gravity will disintegrate, because the first body's tidal forces exceed the second body's gravitational self-attraction. Inside the Roche limit, orbiting object disperses and forms rings, whereas outside the limit material tends to coalesce. The minimum safe distance for a moon's orbit is approximately 2.5 times the planet's radius from the planet's center. For Saturn, this is a distance of 87,000 kilometers, which coincidentally matches the exact location of Saturn's outer rings. On Earth, this distance is less than 6,200 miles, 10,000 kilometers above its surface. Thankfully our own moon is a very safe at the distance of 236,000 miles or 380,000 kilometers. But not too far from our own little solar system exists another planet with a very unique ring structure. Planet J1407b is located in the constellation of Centaurus, approximately 420 light years away from Earth. This exoplanet was discovered in 2012 by the University of Rochester in New York in the USA. This is probably the first planet outside our solar system that have rings similar to Saturn. J1407b, has a ring system that consists of about 37 rings, each of them is tens of millions of kilometers in diameter. It is estimated that the outermost ring has a whopping diameter somewhere between 120, and 180 million kilometers, which is more than 200 times larger than the rings of Saturn. 
Distance from the Earth to the Sun is about 148 million kilometers. Dr. Matthew Kenworthy of Leiden Observatory, estimates that the ring system contains an Earth's worth of mass. He says that if we could replace Saturn's rings with the rings around J1407b, they would be easily visible in the night sky. In fact, it would appear to us several times larger than the full moon. It would certainly make an awesome sight and give a little extra flair to our night sky. This also has an extremely long orbit as it takes an entire decade to orbit its sun. J1407b orbits a host star named J1407. This star is very similar to our Sun and roughly 90% of its mass. Scientists believe it is relatively young at only 16 million years old, whereas our Sun was formed about 4.6 billion years ago, meaning that J1407 is just a baby in astronomical years. Its surface temperature is about 5,757 kelvins which means that it is nearly the same as the Sun. From the surface of J1407b its star would look similar to the Sun as viewed from the Earth. We know so little about this celestial body, that we're not completely sure if it is a planet or a brown dwarf due to its huge mass. In fact so little is known about this planet that the university team who discovered this super Saturn, are encouraging amateur astronomers to take out their telescopes and keep an eye on star J1407, in hopes they may observe the rings eclipsing it again and report the results. If we could learn more about J1407b we could learn how Saturn came to be, perhaps at one point in time it looked very similar to this humongous planet. Probably if we could gather more data, we could learn how moons are born and perhaps it could finally reveal the mystery of how some of these massive new planets are born.